Good morning. Uh, for today's uh, lessons, I was looking to do uh, just some very basic um, material regarding like how to make pigtails. Uh, some of the first things you're going to get acquainted with, especially for this electrical unit, would be uh, the type of wire uh, or cable that would be used for uh, your electrical boards. Uh, these electrical boards that you'll see in a uh, different video uh, will provide three different boxes. Each of these three boxes are uh, connected by a, uh, what is a 12-2 cable. Uh, these different cables are designated by either, um, more commonly, what we'll see in our different units uh, will be a 12-2 or a 12-3 cable. 12-2 uh, cable would have uh, three different types of wires. Now, why is it called a 12-2 cable but have three wires? Well, what they designate with these different cables would be that there is a black wire and a white wire. That designates it being two. Uh, what is already um, detailed is the fact that every one of these cables would have a ground. The ground is not mentioned in that number. That's why they don't have it as a 12-3, but instead, of, instead a 12-2, having a black and a white. Now a 12-3 would have uh, four different types of wires, a black, a white and a red, that would be a 12-3. Uh, what they do not detail, instead of having a 12-4 instead of a 12-3, it's a 12-3 because the ground is never mentioned. Again, a 12-3 only mentions a black, a white, a red, and a ground. Now, what you would see in the next video are the different color codes for these different wires black and red being designated as hot, a white designated as neutral, and a ground being designated as either green or bare. Uh, you have to keep in mind these different colors because that will be helpful for you when it comes to putting together your different appliances based upon these different color codes. You would never want to mix a hot wire with a neutral wire resulting in a short. So hots always stay with hots, Neutrals always stay with neutrals. So in today's lesson, what you'll see, kind of based upon these different uh, cable color codes or different number codes, would be your pigtail. The pigtail is what you're going to be using when it comes to uh, putting together your different appliances. Now, how do you go about making these pigtails? You notice the pigtail, and not necessarily you know you what you would see, maybe a little bit like a pig's tail. Um, as if it were like livestock, but uh, pigtail comes in like a little, what looks like a question mark. So how do you make these pigtails? A pigtail is made by using this tool here, a wire stripper. The wire stripper is, is clamped onto our wire like a pair of scissors. You would lock in and pull. Notice our color is pulled off, leaving just a bare copper wire. Now, this is obviously over-exaggerated for this video here, so I can always just cut it short for the sake of making our uh, question mark or pigtail. So, notice that our wire stripper has what looks like teeth, and these teeth are designated by different numbers. They'll have a... Uh, a 12, a 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now, those different numbers uh, mean a different gauge. Wire thickness, much like sheet metal, or for those of you hunters, a uh, shotgun shell is designated by a number, gauge. Uh, and also keep in mind, much like a sheet of metal or shotgun shell, uh, the lower the number, the thicker the sheet metal, the larger the uh, shell casing, as well as the lower the number, the thicker the wire. So what we're using here is a 12 gauge, okay? Much like on our cable, that was a 12-2 or a 12-3, the 12 meaning the gauge. So for our wire on our pigtail, we're taking our 12 gauge 
hot wire, since it's red, and our wire stripper, bending the wire at a eh, close to a 90 degree angle. Our wire stripper will then be at the very edge of our wire, and we're gonna curl back our wire into our question mark. Now, what's wrong with this pigtail here? Well, this pigtail is made out to be a little bit shorter. What we want to avoid is having any kind of insulation or rubber coating that would be trapped underneath of our terminal of our outlet or our uh, lamp holder or even light switch. So, in order to redo, just a simple cut. We'll lock in our wire to our designated wire size. Since it's a 12 gauge, we're on a uh, 12 gauge hole on our wire stripper. Clamp. And we redo our bend. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Curl back towards you when you go to make your pigtail. And here is our little question mark, our pigtail.